If you're planning a renovation, buying materials, or just curious about the size of the space, knowing how to work out square meterage is an essential skill. It can help you estimate costs, plan layouts, and make sure you buy just the right amount of materials for the job. I'll show you how to calculate square meterage for any room or surface, taking the guesswork out of your next DIY project. Hi, I'm Jason, and this is how you work out square meters. Let's get into it. All right, let's just start with the basics, a standard rectangular area. This is the simplest calculation you'll do. All you need is a tape measure to measure the length and the width of the space in meters. Once you have those measurements, just simply multiply them together to get the square meterage. For example, my space is seven meters long and five meters wide. You'd multiply this, giving you a total area of 35 square meters. Easy, right? It's really useful when calculating how much flooring or grass you need for the space. But what if the space you're measuring isn't a perfect rectangle? It could be an L-shaped room, a garden, or a bit of an odd layout. No worries, you can still calculate the square meterage by breaking down the area into smaller rectangles. Let's say you want to calculate the square meterage of the grassed area in your backyard. It has an extra nook that wraps around the deck. Start by measuring the main rectangular part of the area, just like we did earlier. Then, measure the additional section separately. Calculate the square meterage of each section and then add them together for the total area. For example, if the main area is 40 square meters and the additional sections are 28 square meters and 32 square meters, together the total area would be 100 square meters. This method works well for most irregular shapes, but sometimes you just need an estimate. If you're dealing with curves and odd angles like a garden bed or a patio, Imagine the area as a rectangle that covers the largest part of that shape. Measure and calculate as if it were a rectangle and you'll have a close enough estimate for most DIY projects. And don't forget, if you're measuring in centimetres, convert to metres by dividing by 100. For example, 450 centimetres would be 4.5 metres. And that's it! Now you know how to calculate square metres for regular and irregular spaces around the home. This will come in handy for all sorts of projects. If you like this video, make sure to check out our other instructional guides. We've got plenty of DIY advice online to help you tackle your next project with confidence.